Right now, I'm descending into an active volcano where I'll be spending the next two days to collect a bucket of lava to help save the country of Nicaragua. Holy fuck! Let me get down real quick and I'll explain how this all happened. I'm pretty sketched out by heights, so this is nauseating at a lot of levels. Calm down. <laughs> Chris. And this all starts with Chris. He's what you call a volcanologist and a world-renowned volcano expert. I've climbed into more volcanoes than pretty much anybody on Earth. And I'm single. <laughs> and two weeks ago, the president of Nicaragua asked him to collect some lava to help his government predict a volcanic eruption before it happens so they can save the lives of these people who live on this city right outside the volcano. Chris agreed, but he needed one more man brave enough or dumb enough willing to be his partner and as the only guy who filled out the application i got the job whoa this is otherworldly luckily i was in good hands don't fall into the big pit over there because i'm not coming down to get you out but we had to watch out for flying rocks stepping through the ground ankle breaker poisonous sulfuric gas all around us and aware that one wrong step would kill me we decided to make our way to level two of the volcano to try to collect lava from the lake kind of like this before the sun set or worst case we got hit with an acid rainstorm if acid rain can do this to steal and imagine what it could do to our body. All right, Chris has led us to level two of this volcano. That is unbelievable. When I walked over here, closer to the edge, literally like burned my eyes immediately. And I don't know how we're gonna spend the night up here. Chris, why'd it get so hot when we get close? Yeah, so you can see uh, there's some bluish tinged cloud heading up. That's superheated volcanic gases, highly toxic. One breath of that without a mask, you're almost dead. What? It's starting to get dark. This smoke is totally obscuring the air quality and making it impossible to breathe. But we still need our lava. We'll bolt here and we'll get a safety line in so we can get a close look at that lava lake. Is that safe? No, yeah, it means inherently sketchy, but we're going to do it as soon as possible. But with only two hours left until sunfall, we needed to hurry if we were going to collect this lava before things got dark and dangerous. And prepare my descent into hell. Oh, oh my god. Massive plume of heat from the volcano. The air quality is dramatically worse. And the air was beginning to taste like burning plastic and was melting my throat. <coughs> This stuff is intense. In fact, the sulfur is so deadly, we had to abort our first attempt to enter the volcano yesterday. We've got a change in wind direction, which means you've got more gas right now. The radio's not working! We're aborting. Oh my god! And camp the entire day on the outer edge. Attempt number two. I've been here for over 30 hours already, and things were about to get even worse. Look at the level of smoke coming out of here. How are we going to rappel down further? We're going to approach the edge, but obviously there's a lot of super heat to go. So it's time for heat suit on. Yeah, what happened there? Oh, uh, that's walking on fresh lava flows. Really? That seems dangerous. And somehow I got stung by a bee down here. Oh, and the bees are. Oh, fuck! And with no warning, as I get stung, Chris just starts running. And then I hear the pitter patter of rain. Acid rain. We were unprotected in the middle of an acid rainstorm. Oh, fuck. Okay. Chris didn't think to tell me as he scurried towards safety, but I felt it as my forearm skin started to burn. My skin! My skin! My fucking skin! We're all gonna fucking die. That is crazy, dude. That was scary as fuck. Dude, this is not good. Chris explained it best. And what we have is a condition that is suboptimal. Oh, suboptimal. <laughs> no shit, Chris. Look at that goofy smile. We were dying. Well, if there's a, if there's a heavier rainstorm, then we're in for a problem because Getting out on ropes uh, and there's acid rain all around is, is pretty ugly. But luckily, we kept going, acid burns and all. What a what a courageous group we were, because if the weather got worse, this would be our last opportunity to collect the lava we needed to save the nation. All right, this is our final stop to suspend me over the lava lake and then extract the lava. Oh man, I can feel my arms burn. We're going back in. All of my terrible life decisions had led me to this moment. I feel like I'm headed to my own grave right now. Reattempting the final descent into level two of this volcano. With my Among Us suit equipped and my imminent death on the horizon, I knew what I had to do. How are you gonna suspend me over that thing? So we're gonna get these uh, ropes and we're gonna get up to the edge. Chris is attaching a rope to me. We're going out to Mordor. This is definitely not safe. Ready? Ready! Yeah, let's go. This is really crazy! I can feel the wind! Oh my god! There she is! It's glorious! Yeah, that's the lava lake that we want to sample from. That's ridiculous! 
I'm gonna run this way tomorrow, it's feel like lava. Yeah, it's not a place that you want to go for a swim. It's so hot up here, my body's melting inside the suit. Okay, so how are we gonna get over there? It was glorious. I was finally ready to zip line over this lava lake. Literal Mordor. But Chris had some concerns. Due to the heavy rain this afternoon, we've got too much gas inside the crater. Got it. If we cross the, the crater, there's a chance that we'd be putting you in a in a place of serious heavy gas. So we need to set up camp in a volcano tonight. Yeah. And then get out here tomorrow. I'd say more people have been to the moon than slept inside this volcano. Oh, yeah. All right, we didn't get the lava sample, but I'm not compromising. I'm sleeping in this tent tonight, right beside the lava lake, in this bad boy right here. This is gonna be brutal. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep with this on. But I almost forgot I was literally inside a giant toxic sulfur cloud with my tent window open. Good night. <coughs> right now it's 4 a.m. in here. I woke up, this thing was off my face. I cannot breathe with this thing on my face anymore. Um, we are surely dying just by sleeping out here, so. Terrible common sense all around. Every breath I took <laughs> down here, I lost an hour of my lifespan. 5.53 a.m. Just woke up. The volcano's looking very toxic this morning. And after getting three hours of sleep and an early pump in, we were ready to reattempt the impossible despite even worse weather conditions until we heard this on the radio. Yeah, we've got some bad weather heading your way and uh, gas is starting to build up in the crater. I think we need to evacuate you as soon as possible. Evacuate? Yeah, we actually need to head out like I'm expecting emergency evac. Chris is on the intercom. Uh, you could send down the uh, trolley whenever you're ready. Yeah, copy that. We need to get out as fast as possible. We need to pack up and go. Oh, God! Oh! The total levels have increased dramatically. I'm going lightheaded. I'm running for my life right now. We need to get out. The trolley's coming in hot. I'm gonna escape to the surface. Good luck, Chris. If I don't see you again, it's been real. And if I die, it's your fault. If you come into a, a situation, finger on the button, stop, stop, stop. Got it. That's that's real. Stop, stop, stop. 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 I'm at it out. And after tragically failing our mission with no lava to bring back to the president, I'm literally gonna have to repel myself up that cliff in a second here. The people of Nicaragua, especially the capital city Managua, were screwed if and when the volcano did erupt. While I was grateful I narrowly escaped with my life and a little bit of lung cancer. Oh my god! We're alive! <laughs> I returned back to my hotel only to learn this. I just tested positive for COVID. 